west. Hey folks, uh, this is the satellite radar loop for the southern and southwestern part of the United States. I want to show you that. It's, it's quiet around here, but this is that monster storm out in the western U.S. that has been afflicting southern California all the way eastward into the Las Vegas area and into the mountains of New Mexico for the last couple of days. And you can see that tremendous amount of rain still occurring in the Los Angeles basin and uh, just feet of rain, a lot of flooding, very dangerous condition and high level snow that's just been prodigious feet of snow. Now the question is how much of that is going to make it here? I'll answer that question in just a little bit. But you can see today was a nice day. 72 degrees your high. Morning low fairly crisp 44 and no rain during the last 24 hours. Now temperatures across the state are comfortably cool. You're looking basically in the 50s and 60s. It's the cool spot there is 47 degrees in Austin. Around here we're looking at the mercury hovering in the lower to middle 50s. Coolest there in Beeville. We're sitting at 53 here in Corpus Christi. That's about as cool as we're going to get around here overnight tonight as that southeasterly wind continues to infect moisture in from the Gulf of Mexico or at least the warmth from that and holding the temperatures along the coastline into the lower 60s. Further inland it drops into the upper 40s but you're just about there already so no big changes. And then tomorrow, the wind really cranks in here as a disturbance in the middle levels of the atmosphere moves to our north and compresses the circulation pattern and gives strong winds tomorrow, gusting near 40 miles an hour. These are sustained winds, and the gusts are much higher than that. Now, as that system moves out, Thursday looks comparatively quieter, still a little breezy, same thing on your Friday. But then we get another system moving close enough to us, the one you see out west, give us a chance of rain. Tomorrow, lower to middle 70s overall, but the immediate coastline, very windy out there. It's going to be very windy in the coastal waters as well. Southeast 15 to 20, gusting to 30 knots, making for choppy bays and four to six foot seas. And it could be higher than that later on in the afternoon and moderate rip current risk, unfortunately. Now, this is that system, system number one that cranks out here and then produces the strong winds tomorrow. I believe that precipitation will be north and east of us. The next system system will move into range and kick off to the north and again uh, produce some gusty winds on Friday. It looks like that precipitation again will be north of us, but Saturday this system moves in further to the south and this is the one that will give us some rain and thunderstorms Saturday and Sunday before it moves off to the east, lifts on off and gives us several days of fair weather. So how much rain are we talking about? It's not going to be much uh, because the system dries out as it moves across the Intermountain West. We're going to get maybe a half inch of rain that from the moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. So the dynamics of that heavy rain scenario out west doesn't directly impact us. Mostly clear overnight tonight, 53 degrees. As you move through the next couple of days, this is what you're going to see. Temperatures warming through the upper 70s, then the showers and thunderstorms Saturday and Saturday night ending about mid day Sunday and then clear and much